You know that feeling you get when the enemies are really bad and the sun is shining really bright and you just know it's gonna be a really good one? That's this lobby. Jarvis, hit the parachute. Let's get 10 kills in a row with nothing but floor loot. Okay, I'll admit, the stairs first, it's a risky play, and now Bobby No Brains here thinks he has me by the balls with my back turned, but he's about to make a very important mistake that I've baited him into. He's gonna break windows near me early game. Okay, it was a door, but still, watch how fast that ruins the fight for him. Yep, the fight's ruined. Bye-bye. And here, we have victim number two, who I'll call Billy the Bat. Why? because he can't see shit and he's headed straight for the window. Although, he can't seem to hear shit either, so we'll just call him Billy Blind Eyes. I think I'm also going to take his dead silence here and assassinate him with it, just to make things a little worse. Here he is, free as a bird. Or, should I say, free as a bat. Yep, this is satisfying. Not for you, though. Okay, now, for number three. Oh! Number three! He almost made me number two. But that's not his job. That's mine. I make myself number two. Nobody else. And down goes Frazier, and literally down goes Frazier. He fell off the ledge, but it's okay. We're gonna reload, regroup, and go Simone Biles here for some Olympic level style points, crafting the perfect money shot that even National Geographic would bid for. In fact, David Attenborough himself couldn't even resist narrating. And the wild sweat performs a majestic second story leap making this the final pounce as he finishes the prey. David fucking Attenborough, what, what the hell are you even doing here? I'm not David Attenborough, I'm Dumbledore. The movie version from books one and two. Chamber of Secrets was a rather highly undo- Okay, Jarvis, I don't have time for your Walmart Dumbledore bullshit. So let's finish this off and move forward. Right away, sir. Perfect 10 out of 10, Simone Biles takes home the gold, but we've got three and there was a fourth, so we'll have to take this car here and go find him. Wow, two things. He did it again. Bobby No Brains is out here breaking more doors than the feds in 1920s Brooklyn. And he's definitely gonna need a drink after this one. Good thing it's not illegal anymore. Well, I'm willing to bet Bobby here is still 12, maybe even half that, so he probably won't have that drink for a while. Now, the second thing, we have a possible third party incoming. So I'll have to get inside pretty quickly after I down this idiot. And he's down, and here's the third party right on time. Now. Let's make this third party numbers five and six. And here's Mario, followed closely by Luigi, dropping down right now. Yep, both Mario brothers bleeding out on the floor. But Luigi's gonna get away. Must have ate a magic mushroom. It's okay, he'll be back. Yep, he's back. And wow, it's the world's hottest Luigi. What a shame. Yep, goodbye Luigi. Now, for lucky number seven who's not so lucky because he appears to be wielding a weapon from Far Cry fucking Primal, and I've got a mini machine gun pointed right at his back. Old strategy. Poor planning from this idiot, and down goes seven, and eight makes his way through the window, down goes eight, immediately dropping to the floor. Now, we just need nine and 10. Here they are. There's nine, there's 10. Okay, nine is down, and here is where Oh, where the fuck is 10? Where the fuck? Oh my god. Am I 10? I might be number 10. No. I'm gonna escape. I will not be number 10. In fact, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be number 10. I'm fucking number 10. God damn it.